Welcome back. Uh, this is a second video out of four that I want to kind of focus on talking about teams. And today is going to be about intelligent quotient. So if you look back at history, uh, there um, originally the, the idea of IQ was defined as uh, a mental age divided by physical age. So if you have a five-year-old child that has the ability to think like a 10-year-old, 10 divided by 5 is 2, 2 times 100 is a 200 IQ. So it relates the mental age to the physical age. But in today's example, I really want to talk about something more recent. I want to, I want to just look at um, the Patriots. You know, yesterday's video, or, or, or first video, first part of this video, I'm doing them all in one day, uh, I talked about the Bulls. Today I want to talk about the Patriots. I mean, Patriots have become a dynasty. They've uh, been to nine uh, Super Bowls, and they won six. So, um, you know, it takes um, a level of IQ, okay? So, in, in this case, the mental uh, age of the team as a whole versus the physical age of the team. You know, if you could be used a simple example, and again, that theory has been disproven. There's multiple dimensions, but for the sake of our conversation, uh, it's, you know, let's talk about it in terms of mental age. A lot of the players on the team this year had been to previous Super Bowls compared to the Rams that had almost nobody that went to the Super Bowl before. So you had, um, except uh, I think the assistant coach uh, used to be the head coach, uh, one of the head coaches for Houston. He, um, so if you look at the, the game, what was, you know, it was a low scoring game. A lot of people hated it. I loved it because to me, when I watch a football game, I'm looking at the strategy. And I, what I saw in front of me was two uh, strategic masters of defense. You know, Bill Belichick had his idea of how to stop the Rams, and the Rams had an idea of how to stop the Patriots. And eventually, the team that won, the Patriots, figured out how to do it at least a little bit better than the Rams. And was, they were able to eventually score on the Rams. So the mental ability of that team you know, having been to the mountain several times, uh, having that experience, having that mindset, and having a, a team of leaders, the managers, they were able to examine what the opponent is doing and basically come up with a strategy that would stop them. That's intelligence. So if you're in a business sense, if you're a team leader and you're looking to improve your team, uh, typically your opponent is outside of your company. You know, unfortunately, a lot of teams tend to think that their opponents are their internal, uh, uh, another internal department, but oftentimes that is a big mistake. It's oftentimes outside of their company that they're competing against, and they might have some uh, internal enemies, but that's uh, that's a different story. Uh, and, and, and teams tend to get ter territorial. So as a leader of a team, you almost have to be looking at it. What is the mental age of my team? Is it all senior guys? Am I so heavily loaded? that I'm no longer price competitive if I'm bidding on a job? Or do I have mid-career and junior guys that have um, their, their mental age is a lot uh, higher than their physical age? So, you know, you can have a guy with a five-year career that is better than a 30-year guy that spent it all in one place. So as a leader, you should always be thinking, what's, what's the mental age of my team? What's the physical age of my team? And how do I improve the mental age of my team. You know, a reading is, is a great uh, way to improve the mental age of a team. You know, providing a resource they can indulge in that, you know, you can you can use it as a part of the conversation. You know, picking a book that everybody reads together and discusses the ideas in that, that and how they contribute to the intelligence of that team and, and making it a better team. That's important. You know, just like my course. You know, my course is supposed to teach you how to think in a refinery, how to look at the different units to see how connections are made from one unit, what are the inputs, what are the outputs. You know, I'm trying to, if you're a new employee to a refinery, I'm trying to raise your mental age. You know, I'm trying to make you wiser beyond having to spend, to have spent physical time in a refinery. So if you want to take advantage of it, there's a link somewhere here, 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 or here. And I really encourage you to take advantage of it. So thank you very much. Uh, this was part two of four. And tomorrow we're going to add another piece to this team building um, uh, 
puzzle that I'm presenting. Take care.